Guys, look what just showed up. This is a, it's a small box, but it's, it's, it's a big deal, I promise. It's a big deal. How do I open this thing, dude? In this box lies something that uh, the GTR community has been needing for a long time. Uh, but my biggest fear, wires. <laughs> so we're gonna show Johnny. We're gonna bring this by his place. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I try. All right, do I got a surprise for you? I haven't even unboxed it yet, so. Ooh. You wanna throw it on my bench? Do my, uh, yeah, do the honors for me, dude. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice little harness right there. It's all pretty, like, basic stuff. Oh, uh, so that's the, gonna be the Siri speaker right there. Wait, so I can actually talk to Siri to, like, yeah. tell you, like, yo, play Spotify? Yo, and then, do the goods. I guess the, the goods are in there, there. yeah. That's something that the GTRs have never had right. after all these years. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. So this is by Speed by Design. So Chris, if you're watching this, send me some turbos. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty. Ooh, sticky tape. What the hell is this? Man, you don't want that? Come on. Extreme Nintendo chores. presents extreme <laughs> chores? You guys wanna learn how to dig and do dishes and raking and do the litter box? <laughs> Where did you get this? It was in this customer's van right here. <laughs> Just in case stuff. you guys need to, you know, your parents need to go teach you how to do stuff around the house. Right, make dude. sure you avoid the elm leaves here. Avoid the. Oh, oh man. Jeez, that is loud. All right, so now we, uh, you know, just grab my big metal pry bar and just start. <laughs> I <laughs> just start tearing. <laughs> the nice thing is, um, so the integrated, the integration system, whatever, the it goes right here. So it fits really nicely, and um, you can actually tuck a lot of the extra harness back in there. Right. It should be pretty easy. Um, I think because there's, I mean, you can even, I can get my hand all the way up here so we can run all the wires up behind it. Yeah. Plug it all in and stuff all the slack behind That'll it. That'll be awesome, dude. So we've got a few things here and there. We kind of, I don't know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not the doctor here, so I don't know what all this stuff is, but <laughs> here's the little interface that's gonna tuck in, and it's kind of crazy. It seems to be pretty universal plug and play. I actually remember, I remember whenever I bought the GTR, you're like, this is the one car you can't do audio and stuff to, for. Well, to do a radio at least, just because right. it's, it's yeah. like a newer car. Nissan is really one of the first companies to have a radio and a display in two separate places. So many cars, the radio is all in one. Nissan was pioneering and kind of newer. Well, technology. plus with the GTR, like you can look at all of the information on the car, like the oil pressure, the boost, and stuff like that. So you have all that. You can't really like remove that because it's just tied into the entire car. This little integration system is cool because it's just like a middleman that plugs in between the entire thing and uh, it's one of the first that works really well. I think it's been around for a little bit, but like this one supposedly works really good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and resume the video. Turns out uh, I didn't read the fine print. You ha if you have an 09 to 2011, you have to do the radio upgrade. So this is a couple thousand bucks, but we are going to now have the 2012 HD screen. If you guys haven't seen the screen in the 09 to 11, it's like 480p at best, so I don't think Minecraft would look good on it. We did have to put everything back together, but like it's just a low quality screen, and now all of this is gonna be done. So we got the screen and the radio that we're gonna be replacing, so it's gonna be nice. Now this will give us an HD screen, it'll look better, and it's gonna give us a little bit better audio management, hopefully, because the 09 to 11 radios sound horrible. So here is the new screen. This is an OEM and it's got the plugs we actually need. The other one has like one plug in the back. That's when we knew we were screwed. And uh, here is the new radio. All right, so we resume. 
Yeah. Let's tear everything apart and do exactly what we did last time. Later. So everything's out right now. It's pretty self-explanatory actually. It's no like wiring. It's all just harnesses going to harnesses. So because we had to do the 2012 up radio upgrade, we have a harness for that so that they can connect and they can talk to the factory system. And then we also have harnesses from the CarPlay to everything else. So I mean, if you guys have played those little blocks as a kid where the square goes with the square, that's pretty much what you're doing with just big boy status right now. Dude, it's like a freaking octave. There's like snakes in here. Oh, they look like dreads. <laughs> yeah. oh. So this is the unit I showed you guys the other day. We're gonna try and stuff this sucker deep into there. Hopefully we got this right. <laughs> yeah, really. And it's upside down. She nice and snug. Dude, these dreads are serious, bro. There's a lot of wires back here, dude. Oh, we, we got harnesses. You're gonna have like some, there's gonna be like pounds of force resisting <laughs> you from like pushing this back in there. <laughs> is it gonna make it in there? Hopefully. Oh my god, that's so many wires. <laughs> Alright, so I saw it literally, like it's light, it lit up. Okay, it's like on ish. A few moments later. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Turns out when you plug it in, it works. <laughs> Was right. the interface the same like this, or is this newer? Yeah, so too? actually. The, the radio is definitely different. Oh yeah, so like I have to completely, I have to change the gauges, but like, I mean, I think this now is gonna be a high, oh yeah, so this is like a whole different oh, wow. screen. Like tire pressure, like that's gonna be hey, a whole different, that's so nice, wow. I literally just upgraded my GTR like so much. Yo, hold up, hold up, are we watching YouTube right now? Hold up, I need to do, we need to connect to that Wi-Fi right now, son. Some free Wi-Fi. Dude, can I watch some YouTube videos? Not while I drive. All right, let's go home here. So I have to be on Wi-Fi. Oh, I, dude, I have a hotspot on my phone, dude. Oh, there you go. Wait, so I can actually swipe through this stuff. Waze, it's got Waze and Google on there. If I need to search some car parts while I'm driving, it's, I mean, not while I'm driving, sorry guys. All of this stuff, dude, that's kind of cool. You can, so it's based, it's Android based, so I can download a bunch of apps. So this is cool, this is the home screen. It looks really nice, so I can either use the function button and do that, which is super smooth. I like it how he, uh, you were saying it, like it makes it look like this, like the it regular like just the GTR screen. the GTR screen, but and you can tell it's just Android on top of it. So you have autoplay, music, video, YouTube, yeah, yeah. navigation type stuff, that's really cool. So here, let's try CarPlay right here. Whenever you plug it in, it automatically goes, allow, and there we oh, go. Oh shoot, dude. Wow. wow, nice GTR home screen right Hell here. Yeah. That's really okay. Cool. Dude, this is sick. CarPlay is only in your phone and the screen, whatever source it is, be it factory, be it this, be an aftermarket radio or anything, it's just overlaying that information right there. Oh, so, cause okay. Because so CarPlay doesn't live in this box. It's just all CarPlay it's is your phone. CarPlay You're literally your phone. projecting your phone to this and it's using just, all that. You, That's cool. It's just a simplified version of your phone. On the screen. Dude, okay, that's really tight. Dude, I can go to my messages, dude. Yeah. You wanna read some of your texts? Oh, yeah. Text Evan. I think it's gonna say Text Evan on your end. <laughs> there text, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> text Evan. Text Evan. What does the fox say? Oh, no. So Bye. let me so let me plug it in yeah, on. Here. Dope. So now I can go through, I guess, like, uh oh, hello. So I can go through, uh, yeah, so like I can go to my Spotify now. And I can actually, like, go through and manage that. So, like, what have I recently. Let's do, like, your library, dude. Let's see, um, playlists. Dude, we're gonna play I, something sick. Cause dude. I totally recognize everything on here. <laughs> oh, here we go, dude. Stay scheming. Oh. Hey. Okay, I can't really play this song because I'll definitely get copyright strike. That's cool, dude. So on I the can side just, here, it's, that's your. Like, I can most literally just. I can seriously. That that is cool, so cool to me. Like I can just go back. I can access like all of the music that I listen to right in front of me, and I don't have to look down at my phone. I can just hop up, pop up on a Waze real quick and just be like, yo, what's the fastest way to San Diego? That's so sick. This is so nice. That is awesome, dude. What did Johnny say to me? Johnny said, text Evan. <laughs> Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. That's it. Send That's it. Send going. it. No. So you have, if you want to, you have to be quiet or tap it. The message says these nuts. Ready to send it? <laughs> yes. Why are you flicking me off, dude? What the heck are you doing? Man? That's how I point, There's sir. There's children watching this, dude. <laughs> All right. Wait, Wait, can we play the dinosaur game? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, what the heck? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait, oh. Oh. oh, I died. What does this world come to? <laughs> it's a sore game in the car. All right, so everything is kind of back together, and ooh. I think what we're gonna do, that's gonna go underneath the console. We're gonna plug it like that. So we got adapters on adapters on adapters. That's okay, nobody's gonna see the adapters. All right, <laughs> so I think we're probably gonna have it like that. 
And then we're gonna have a USB flush. right there. Right, I, I'd probably say maybe probably make it in line with the start button, you know? That's sexy. That's a little... Some people probably cringing a little bit right now, like, oh my god, you're drilling a GTR's oh god. centerpiece. I've drilled into a Porsche 919 Spider before. So. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, like that. dude. That's tight. All right. So we're gonna hide the CarPlay thing. Dude. Good, there we go. Money, look at that. Dude, this is so sick. It's like, it's so nice. It's integrated. This screen is way better. So that's that's that, whatever. But that has nothing to do with the CarPlay. So now CarPlay, hold that I'm back to this screen. That is so sick, dude. So Having all Android, just Android apps as I'm driving, that is a must. Like, if you have a GTR, he's actually designing one right now where you don't have to do the $2,100 upgrade, but I would definitely suggest doing this because like the radio is just so much nicer. When I'm driving, I use my phone, sadly, for a lot of things. And I use maps a lot. Now the, the fact that it can be just projected to this little screen right in front of me is so nice. May I remind you, this system is very proprietary and like you can't just switch everything out because this talks to the car and everything, so this is so sick to be able to have something like this. This is awesome, big thanks to Johnny and loud and clear. You did so awesome. So sick. <laughs> Victoria's having some fun with it. See, it's literally, it's full Spotify. I'm you have, so impressed. You have everything, like, it's like, it's literally as if I'm using the app on my phone. That's what this is. But see, you can't get mad at me anymore for texting while I'm driving, because, like, I can, it tells me exactly, you know, it'll, it'll read messages and stuff for me. If I need nav right there, like, it'll take whatever's on my phone currently and it'll put it there. I was so impressed. And so, like, if you go to the GTR thing, you can Ooh, click on that. that. You actually have YouTube. You can actually, you can watch some YouTube in the car if you want, if we're on, like, a long road trip. Tokyo Drift. You can watch both. True. <laughs> it was a pretty simple install as long as you're capable of, like, getting all this stuff torn apart. It's not that big of a deal. It's all stuff that's just, like... It's all just building block type stuff, so it's pretty easy. The integration with the factory radio works really well. I noticed there was a little bit of a blip whenever I was getting a phone call when I was listening to the radio. It tried to go through the CarPlay, and so like I had it was it was it kind of clashed with that. There's a couple things I'm just gonna have to like probably push around to get to that. But aside from aside from that, like it is pretty flawless and it works really well. Um, this is gonna make driving this car so incredible. And if you guys have a GTR, uh, I encourage this is a really really useful mod but if you guys are interested in this i'll leave a link in the description of where you guys can check this out and do a little bit more research but i hope uh, i answered enough questions for you guys here like it works pretty flawlessly it integrates with your phone really well it's super cool it's super clean and it's oem plus and that's like the best thing you can ask for so not the typical stuff that i usually do usually we're doing power mods and burnouts and dumb stuff but this was something for me i really wanted to do because i commute a lot with this car and being able to listen to my own music aside from my exhaust is super important to me so i wanted this and this is like better than i expected so also big thanks to loud and clear audio for helping us install this and getting getting it installed correctly with no squeaks everything back together nothing squeaking so i end every video with daily advice for you guys as you guys have known i think i've done it over a year now actually every single day i've had it, something to say which is awesome i wanted to go back and say something along the lines of something i've said before whatever's going on in your life right now be patient. And there's a lot of times where we think that we're stuck in ruts in life. Sometimes we think we're helpless. And there's a lot of times where you think that you can't make it through it. And I want you to know it's possible. Um, learn patience. Learn perseverance. Like that's why I, I tattooed this on my hand for like persevere. Pers learning to persevere is I think what really builds your character up the most. I um, hope you guys can't see the new wheels I got for the R33 back there. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't shown you guys this yet. So anyways, I <laughs> love you all. I'll catch you later. Deuces. So, um, how you doing there, cutie? I got two videos for you to watch. Sorry, that's really annoying. Can I shut that off? Oh, I did it. I freaking... No, Shay, shut up! Shut up! Watch the two videos. Hey! <laughs> Stop!